What up, Soul Family, and welcome to Healing Elements. A special shout out and a big, big hug and appreciative vibes to Jack's Animations for creating this and being so kind as to really truly treat me. And I'm very grateful um, to him. Wanted to shout that out. It has been really, really beautiful to exchange energy and gifts and blessings, love and light to him and all of you. What up, what up, what is up? Soul family members, it's Shani with Healing Elements, here to give you a very unique reading. Um, I'm a fan of making my own tarot cards, DIY, and I did not make this deck, but I am using a set of flashcards that I found at a thrift store, very inexpensive, I think like a buck fifty, and I just thought this is gorgeous because it is so many celestial objects that are, you know, um, represented. This is the horse head, I believe. The horse head, yeah. Horse head or eagle head? Yeah, it's the horse head. Nebula, and it just has some facts on the back. And so I've been able to give some really, really um, cool, unique interpretive readings with these cards. Uh, beings that, of course, you know, I can read what I can get myself, of course, um, through the energy of the card. And then some of them are notorious, you know, um, energies like Saturn, for instance, that is Capricorn, you know, related. And um, you could take a look, you know, I've done a lot. You can, um, I've written down after readings for people what exactly, you know, order they got, check it out. And a lot of people have interesting correlations in their chart. So this reading in particular is going to be to just kind of commence a big, huge happening in our sky, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. And we're coming up on our second full moon of this Leo season in Aquarius on the 22nd. It's going to be big. Uh, there's a lot of crazy energy. So there's your first two cards. And when I post this, I'll probably put that. I'll probably put Uranus retrograde celestial flash deck. So let's see what else wants to come out. I just think it's beautiful as far as the differences that I can, you know, put the metaphors on and all that good stuff. So I think you guys might enjoy it. Tell me if you guys want what's up in the comments and we will get going here. I love the uh, pictures. They're just beautiful. It is gorgeous. Some of the planets, of course, can, you know, be pictured differently, and I just favor it. So, ah, oh, for sure. Beautiful, beautiful cards. And here we have, what do you know, Saturn. Of course, Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn. Saturn is in Aquarius with Jupiter at this moment. They're both retrograde, and so if you are feeling a lot of kind of instigative um, energy to go on a crusade or rebellion of, you know, immense proportion where you're going to be that billy goat and you're going to be the Capricorn marching up the mountain and not stop until you get some sort of resolution and or really tear down the structures of the wall, right? That an orthodox Aquarius, let's break it down to get what we need for the collective uh, energy. I feel that that could definitely be. And here we go. First card. Ooh, you got the astronaut. Perfect for Uranus in retrograde. This speaks of seeking out what is new and being brave to go explore the first astronauts, right? They had no idea what was going to happen. They trained on the earth and they then had to, of course, uh, do experiments and see what would a human body actually, you know, by the time they got up there without blowing up in all kind of trial and error, you are brave and you have been through a whole bunch of test runs, I want to say. And of course, right? Of course, beautiful so gorgeous it is not pictured but uranus does lie on its side it does have rings you guys are unique individuals if you've come to this reading you no doubt this is no doubt speaking of your initiative within the collective to go forward with a lot of conviction for things that you want to tear down that are not good for everyone on our planet right and uranus really is again the ruler of aquarius we have jupiter and saturn in aquarius if you have any dynamo kind of um, aspects or you know things that are in the house of Aquarius or you know if you have placements that are correlated between especially Saturn Jupiter and Aquarius I'm um, sorry Saturn Jupiter and Uranus or Uranus some people like to pronounce it but always have just got used to that one as a kid so Uranus is just beautiful to you know, see in person. It is gorgeous. It is one of my favorite ones um, to view photos of just because it's so beautiful, just kind of like Neptune, uh, bright blue. 
and of course speaks of change of revolution and I love that let's and Mars and Aquarius I'm all about let's get things done because things are just not going good of course we have so many things that need to be changed for the better for the environment and that speaks of these kind of things working with the earth sign you know Saturn the earth you know planet that rules Capricorn in Aquarius here we have interesting one Hubble space telescope so this is telling me looking closer to find out the truth find out details that you may have missed over any kind of you know soul searching spiritual quest that you're going on perhaps things that you're trying to change and get that healthy or convicted and very passionate and boldened you know Uranus energy right now retrograde right that is telling me you're seeking something new in detail and this is gorgeous this is so gorgeous this card is the earth's atmosphere this is speaking of you you're the earth core in this reading you are the one who has the atmosphere around you and if that atmosphere is stagnant if it's you know driving you crazy giving you toxic energy i've heard from so many people right i've heard from so many people that unfortunately haters are coming out strong now and the light is coming out strong people who are you know giving loving compassionate uh, giving ears and um, helping hands and just some understanding and compassion right where it needs to be so hold on I know that there's been just an abundance of crazy electric energy so there's beauty in this card though the eagle nebula that's gorgeous so this is all about almost like the um I want to say the empress card okay because I view this to be something of a new beginning. This is a new start. It speaks of exactly where you're at to nurture things as well. Being born and being the nurturer, the empress, the mother to give birth to things because the eagle nebula is actually a huge, like a vast shell, a just huge mass of gas and dust. And so it has this inner cavity and it nurtures it kind of like a womb and it's filled with star nursery so a lot of baby stars are being born and these nurseries are everywhere just gigantic so um just enchanting definitely a lot of interesting shapes here i think this card literally it is um, the eagle nebula but if you take a look it looks to me like a man is like holding on his hands right his arms and his legs here thighs it's crazy but it is definitely um something that is gorgeous and was discovered it's so huge it's a the best known space object that was uh, discovered back in 1745 so it is beautiful for you you're creating things you're able to nurture things you're able to hold on to things to get things done and to give birth to something that is beautiful aha here we go so for anyone who resonates with cycles right cyclical action maybe that is even toxic maybe not but just something that has been in a form of pattern and habit and is just worn itself thin and is not giving you any kind of new information or joy or anything like that you can even put it into context which we all have probably something that is a revolution an annual cycle which we're used to it's a habit but we don't really gravitate toward it as much or even at all but we do it this out of habit um, I've heard many yogis speak on the fact that when you get stuck in a circle, the circle cannot, you know, you cannot break away from the circle. It's eternal. And so in order to grow and to receive, the rotation card is telling you guys that if you are in any, any pattern that you feel is just stagnant, if you are in any rotation, just going round and round, right? Like the satellite, if you are in any kind of toxic cycle and, you know, cyclical type of um, environment that is just giving you bad vibes and you don't want to go this is a message for you break the cycle break any kind of cycle that really truly is just not in your path it's not something that you're wanting to go to it's almost as if you maybe someone out there is in an obligatory pattern and it's okay right now to like again I always shout it out and Mariana always told me tend to your own campfire people so whomever's reading this you need to tell people look I can break out of cycles I can stop something that is not serving me even if it's not detrimental I can do this and progress and do what I want because I am tending to my campfire right keeping my embers and my fire lit and you are tending to yours so guys thank you so much for listening thank you for everything you are thank you for subscribing commenting 
and just keeping me supported when I am going through a little bit, you know, of a tough time as everyone is, but definitely handling it and just rolling through the punches of, you know, grief and all this chaotic energy. But I myself am staying pretty low key. Blessings, love and light, guys.